tutorial where the tutorials are guaranteed to get you through the show and close enough for rock and roll. I'm Brett Papa and today is one of my favorite 80s band ever. They're so good. <laughs> and I'm learning three songs for a gig I have to play coming up soon of theirs and it just reaffirms my belief that their parts and they're just how they put things together is just magic. So let's break it down. Beginning part, think of groups eight on an E chord. Two guitar players. Guitar player one, all downstrokes muted eight times, just over and over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Easy peasy. All right, so guitar player two can do one of two things. <laughs> Flashing some signs. You can either come in on seven right and let the chord last for seven and eight so like seven eight seven eight seven eight or you can come in and go one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three right so on seven you let it go through and then mute it off for eight does that four times second group of four you actually hit seven and eight one two three four five six seven eight That's the beginning. The verse, pretty cool. It has a verse and basically like a pre-chorus. And then it goes back into the verse before we go through it all again, before you get to the chorus. Okay, so the chords, and you can do an E here for guitar one or an E here. Guitar player two does the E here, right? So you're gonna go E, B, C sharp, down to G sharp. All right, if you're guitar player one, you don't need to really worry about major or minor chords. You can just hit root and fifth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 It's gonna do that three times. On the fourth time, it's gonna do something different. So let's do three into the fourth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, Right, so does this first one, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. The first thing I'm gonna show you, it does three times. The fourth time is different. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Do that three times. Fourth time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, and then you go down to one, two, Okay, so that's guitar player one. Guitar player two has a little bit more of a part, right? So, does two rounds of, just like guitar player one, all muted. go into the part and it goes okay so on three and four here's what the part is you go to E and then you're gonna do like what you commonly see in like a blues progression you know the that sort of thing. So you're gonna be on seven and nine, A and D, and you're gonna be reaching on the major chords two frets up to catch 11. So it's gonna go. 
Right, so it's. And then you switch up to the B. Go up to the C sharp minor, and since it's a minor, you only have to stretch one fret. And on G sharp, it just hits the chords. Now on the fourth time, it comes down to the E chord, and we're going to do some suspended stuff. So you go. Right, suspended to fourth. You're just putting your finger down on G2. And then you go to B, and you're going to do the same thing, but, you know, the chord's different. So you're going to reach, and you're going to grab B5. And then you're going to go to G sharp major. And then just A power chord. Right, so it's... And then back to. To A. And then back into verse 2, right? So did you catch that? It goes E, B, C sharp, G sharp on the first one. And then it goes E, B, C sharp, A. Okay, now guitar player two. It's this cool little lick. Okay, so you basically come down to the C sharp chord, hit it three times, one, two, three. And your finger right here, if you're gonna do a major chord, is kind of already set up for this. So what you do is you just basically start from the fifth fret, slide up on the G. Tuck in your third finger, your ring finger, underneath and grab eight and eight. And then go down to six. Right, it's all on the G and the E. And then that's five and four. Eight, six, five, four. I use hybrid picking, so I use my finger to do it. Right, that's first time. So one, two, three. one more time. Okay. Second time when it goes to the A, it does the same exact lick up one fret, but it plays it different, right? So second lick, we're going to do the same chords. We go to A, and instead of playing any of the A chord, it goes to because the lick takes up the whole, you know, bar of A. So you slide into nine, seven, six, five. So slide into each one. Right? That gets you into verse two, where the guitar player holds back on the first two and just hits the chord once. actually gets us into the chorus part. So let's go over that. Okay, so the chorus part has two very distinct guitar parts. Let's go over the first one, right? Now, guitar player one is gonna do this whole thing twice, and then it goes into a solo progression, which we'll go over in just one second. Okay, so, chorus. <laughs> time 
second time around. Seven, eight, solo. Okay. So what you do is you go E, B, then an A twice, and then this is gonna go C sharp to B. Right. So it's one, two, slide, eight. Right. So it's. Hold on the C sharp. Okay, so the whole thing together. Okay, just does that twice. Now the solo comes up, and you have this part, which also happens in the very end of the song, too. So check it out. It's very similar chords that we've already done, but the timing's a little different. Okay, so you're gonna go. C sharp, G sharp, E, B, C sharp, A. And it's gonna do that twice, all right? So the first time you get down to G sharp, second time you go to A, third time G sharp, fourth time A. Picking's a little different. So the first chord, one, two, three. Second chord's five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. But remember, you just switch back and forth, G sharp, A, G sharp, A. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. into verse three. Okay? So over the chorus, <laughs> guitar player two <laughs> starts a very distinct little line. And you're basically, as soon as it comes down to hit that B is when the line starts. So right there. So the line, it's, uh, let's see, hold on, hold on, it's coming to me. All right. There it is. All right. So we got four, five, four, six, four, six, five, four, five. So it goes. Right. Okay. So that's the first part. So it's four on the G. B string, five, four, G string, six, four, six, B string, four, five. Now the next part. So the next part, you start on the fourth fret G, jump up to the seventh fret on the B, bend up and release. So it's so together, right? Third time, go back to the same thing you did the first time. Fourth time's a little different, and then it goes and holds in preparation for the solo. So you go G. On the fourth time, same bend, right? So you basically do the same lick, and then you scoot up here to the eleventh fret G. You bend up a whole step, right? So you get that note, and then you 
hit the B and E, ninth fret. And then that gets you into the solo. So it's... us into the solo so let's go over that all right so the solo is just a freaking masterpiece it's going to sound like a drunken cat fight without the chords behind it because some of the note choices are pretty interesting but it's just magic when you hear it with the chords in the background all right so check this out it's all going to be kind of in the c sharp minor shape and if you think of pentatonic position four all basically right in that area so we're gonna start on B7 bend it up three times and on the fourth time you're gonna bend it up a full step and pull off to the fifth fret so it goes right so seventh fret one two three four pull off to five next parts on the G string okay so sixth fret fourth fret and then five, six, five. So it's just awesome, right? Next part. Okay, so you're gonna slide up on the D string, four to six. G string, hit it four twice. All right, so you got. Now with finger two, I'm gonna go four to six, hit five on the B, six to eight on the G, and I'm gonna hit seven twice on the B, drop down to five. All right, so you got. All right, with my first finger, because now I gotta bend on the E string, seventh fret. Okay, so that's gonna go seven, pull off to five, and then bend seven back up. All right? Okay, now, all together, we got. part for some reason i can play it all the way through but when i break it down to explain it <laughs> it goes tragically astray so if i don't explain it right listen to what i just played because that's right <laughs> okay so the second part <laughs> okay and then you do a reverse bend which means you bend up then pin it pull off to five Okay, so you go, and then bend up, and then twice on seven, and then bend it up again, so it's, okay, so it's tough on the fingers, right? And then you gotta immediately bend on the B7, so you got, so that's, and then one, two, drop down to five. So it's... Back to the sixth fret on the G. Right, the drunken cat fight right there. So you bend up on six, pull off to five, and then you jump down to E6. And then hit it again, pull off to four. Okay, now the next part is is hard, right? So I use the second finger because you gotta go. And I think the easiest way to do it is to do a, 
you know, uh, hybrid picking. So you got bend up on the seventh fret B, and then with your pinky, grab the E9, go back to B7, and then hit E7, and then come down and pull off. Right? Okay, one more time. So bend up on B7. E9, B7, E7, B7, down to B5, and then the last leg, okay, is going to be same thing on the G and E, right, that we've been doing, same shape, 9 and 9, 11, 11. Now shift up to 13 and 12. And then you're going to go back to the you know same frets. Okay, so that's going to be 14, 15, 16. So you got. Okay. All right, so let's break it down really slowly. Here we go. the solo let's get on to the rest of the song all right so check it out the end of the song has a verse a double chorus and then like a little it's the solo progression actually at the end and it has this cool little guitar line that goes with it so play all the verses and all the chorus parts the same uh, the only thing I'll say is the break between the double chorus right so you got holds the only thing different is the guitar player just does a right when he goes right it's like a little pentatonal lick right so you just bend up 11th fret and then come down and then go 9 11 on the G and then 11 on the D okay so it's a double chorus. That's in between chorus one and two. Then you get through chorus two again. Okay, same parts and everything. And then the outro part where the keyboard comes back in, the awesome little keyboard part, goes back to the solo progression, remember? And the solo progression is a little different. It's three and five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Does that eight times. The only tricky part is the last time it goes down to the G sharp, as a right to end the song so you go one two three one two three four five one two three one two three four five one two three one two three four five one two three a one two three one two three four five one two three g sharp second round is more stabs So listen to the album, you'll get it, it's easy. So the guitar part is really cool that goes along with the keyboard part and it happens in the last four, right? So you got. Okay, it has this really cool melodic line that goes right along with the keyboard. So. You basically go nine and nine. It's not a pentatonic, right? C sharp, so minor. So you go nine G, nine D, and then you bend up, right? And then you go, 
and that's on the 10th and the 9th. So you got... And then you go 9-11. Okay, next one's different, but starts the same. Drop down to 5 and 6. Right? B to G. So you got... First time, and then this is the last time it goes. Now I'm going to switch. I'm going to go. Okay, so this time I'm coming in on nine and nine with my third finger, and then I'm going to bend seven on the B, and then you go nine, seven, nine. So it's. So the whole thing. friends ladies and gentlemen is the whole song i hope you like it if you're a guitar player the only guitar player just fuse all those parts together it's real easy <laughs> no, i'm just kidding but it's an awesome 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 song full of killer parts again if you got a song request click down below in the description box there's a whole bunch of goodies down there so always check down there but there is a song request link and that will come to me in a little package that says bob and sally want to learn iron maiden <laughs> Ace is high. No, I already taught that one, so just look for that on the channel. But anyways, if you like what you see, don't be afraid to share the videos. That would be awesome. Also, there's a subscribe button, and there's also more tutorials. There's all sorts of playlists. I'll put two over here to check out as well. And if you want to support the cause, go to brettpapa.com. Again, down in the description box below. That funds the whole thing. You guys are amazing. We'll catch you next time.